ngora iko ngora iko ngora ngora ai mbu yamano mwana one kiagara kwa manyire nge bintu mbi ngora nsaka saka bi kwanga aba koro ba te beta tarinje na te ba we are in Kawakom CP Falls Wet Processing Mill. This facility basically is used for primary processing of wet cherries. And also it is used to store coffees that have been sourced uh, from the farmers. As a project, we work with farmers, we register them, we contract them, we train them, inspect them, and submit them for international certification schemes of organic woods rainforest. These farmers are checked or assessed by CERES, which is an, a third party certification body, and IMO, which certifies the farmers against the Rainforest Alliance standards. Once these farmers are certified, coffee is sourced from them. We train the farmers on good agricultural practices, certification standards, climate smart agriculture strategy, with better health and safety. The idea by the training is to coach the farmers to do good practices in their farm so that the productivity in the farms could increase, which would eventually give uh, better incomes uh, for the farm families. Primarily that's uh, how we engage the farmers. Above all, regarding marketing, we run a network of 10 marketing uh, centers or collection units, and each farmer attached to each uh, collection unit buying center. And farmers come and sell their coffees in the buying uh, center. My name is Nasanel Kikongo, a family man of eight family members. One of them is my mom, two of them are my children, one of them is my wife and another dependent. We are coffee farmers and we do other groups as well like maize, beans, guinards, and others. I am a motor farmer registered with Kaukum, Uganda. And I am registered as Organic Woods Rainforest Alliance farmer, model farmer of Menaria Parish. I came to be modeled by Kaukum after working with them. And I am now two years old since I worked with them. Now, after giving me that training, they also asked me to disseminate the same information to my fellow farmers. They have taught me about uh, organic, woods, rainforest alliance, many other practices. They have taught uh, a number of things in order to make or to meet their requirements, as they are also supposed to meet a set requirements by the buyers. When I meet those requirements, then automatically my immediate buyers, Kaukum, will meet, the, will meet the same requirements and they will be able to fetch price, whichever one wants, me inclusive. So I have two farms. Blood A contains 300 coffee trees, and Blood B contains 1,000 of trees. I am doing it organically. When I say organically, I say agro chemical free. And the alternative I am using it is I am applying local knowledge, like local manure. I decompose my local manure compost and feed my plantations so as to give me better yields as I expect them. Because my field is an ecosystem which depends on me and me on them. I used to, uh, to accommodate eucalyptus trees in my plantation, especially below the A. There were many, but when they came and told me about the dangers of the eucalyptus trees, so I had to remove them. I harvested them, sold them off and paid my child school fees, which was in Hilo High School. Then, after that, my plantation is doing much better than that time. When I began engaging doing compost and disseminating the information, I have got the benefits. One of them, one, I have got the knowledge. I am equipped, I am informed, I am empowered because of the, the training I got from Carcom. 
There are quite a lot of lessons which uh, I've learned over my period in working with smallholder coffee farmers. First of all, smallholder coffee farmers are willing to learn if practical methodologies are engaged in their learning. If the trainings can be done at the home setting, if they can be asked or if training needs assessment is done and training is packaged according to their needs, they are willing to learn. That's what I've learned. And adoption is based on one, the way the training is conducted and the resources which the learner has. I have also friends because while teaching at the farmers, then they become friends. They, they pay visits to me. Meanwhile, I make a follow-ups after visiting me and showing them and advising them and then I follow them to check on their performances. So we become friends. Friend, friendship in Kachorwa involves also eating. When you go to a home of a friend, it gives you a cup, a nice cup, or a meal to prove friendship. So during the course of doing all those things, I have acquired two things. Two, I'm able to speak to anybody, friends at home, and even friends from outside, outside my village, my parish, my district, even outside Uganda. Like as I speak, my friends from America are coming to interact. I interact with the lecturers. Yesterday we interacted with a lecturer coming from Macquarie University to tell us a biosystems engineering course is. We are uniting our business ideas. We are bringing our business ideas together, which will go a long way in transforming the way we do businesses uh, back home when uh, all the participants return to their respective homes. They gave me the knowledge, not me alone, with the other motor farmers, and we inseminated that knowledge to other farmers. We told them agrochemicals is dangerous to life. And we taught them all principles of agrochemicals and the use of PPEs. In the Kaukum case, what I see is that this contract farming model is a good one because this contract farming addresses the problem of quality. You know that the main problem of producers is related to quality. Because if you haven't quality, you can't get any more good prices. Kaukum contract with some allow them to have the best prices. So the certification and assessments that they have got and the prices linked to this, to this certification. On the other hand, what I can add in this uh, business model is that you need the presence of government and the presence of civil society organization which can help and encourage the farmers and certain capacities to become the best player in this, in this contract.